Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given rational equation. So let's get started now. Uh, look at this, the very first fraction on the left hand side. See in the denominator, this 4 could be written as 2 square. Then this, the denominator represents a perfect square according to this fact a plus b squared equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So this first fraction I can write as 3 over x plus 2 squared. And then the second fraction I'm going to just leave it alone. I'm going to write it down 1 over x plus 2 equals to and on the right hand side on the denominator this 4 could be written as 2 square and this represents a difference of 2 square x square minus 2 square and we're going to be using this fact a square minus b square is always equal to a minus b times a plus b so that means this fraction could be written as 2 over x minus 2 times x plus 2. So far so good. And now our next task is to remove these fractions. In order to get rid of these fractions, let's focus on the denominators over here. Look at the very first denominator over here in this fraction is x plus 2 power 2 and here we have just simply x plus 2 and here we have x plus 2. So among these three the highest power is x plus 2 square. Just keep in your mind. And now let's focus on the other one which is x minus 2. So I'm going to write down over here x minus 2. So thus our least common denominator or sometimes we call it least common multiple turns out to be x plus 2 square times x minus 2. In our next step we are going to multiply whatever we got this least common denominator we are going to multiply this across the board. I'm going to multiply each and every fraction. Let me just go, go ahead and do that one. x plus 2 square times x minus 2. I'm going to multiply x plus 2 square times x minus 2 here and x minus x plus 2 square times x minus 2 as well. And now in our next step as you can see that this x plus 2 square cancels out this x plus 2 square so we are ended up with 3 times x minus 2 on the left hand side first fraction and over here as you can see that this x plus 2 one of these x plus 2 is gone so we are just simply left with plus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 equals to now over here as you can see this x minus 2 and x minus 2 is gone and here you can see that one of this one x plus 2 cancel with this one so we are ended up 2 times x plus 2. And now let's go ahead and distribute this 3 over here. That's going to become 3x minus 6. And now you can see this x plus 2 times x minus 2. I copy it down over here and I use the FOIL method and we got x squared minus 4. So I can write this one as plus 1 times x squared minus 4 equals to here we're going to distribute this one as well so that is going to give us 2x plus 4. 
Now let's simplify furthermore. So 3x minus 6 and here we're going to distribute this thing one time. This whole thing is going to become x squared minus 4 and I am going to move these all this stuff 2x and plus 4 on the left hand side so 2x become negative 2x and positive 4 is going to become negative 4 equal to 0 and now let's combine the like terms and we are going to put it in a descending order so x squared is going to come first and then we have a plus 1x and then minus 14 equal to 0 and here we got a quadratic equation and we are going to solve this thing and we're going to be using this quadratic formula that you can see on the right hand side. Now let's compare this quadratic equation with the standard form of the quadratic equation which is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 that tells us that a is going to be equal to 1 and b equals to 1 as well and c is going to be negative 14. And now let's fill in the blanks in this given quadratic formula. We're going to plug it in values. x is going to be negative and b is 1 plus or minus b square b is 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is negative 14 everything is divided by 2 times a is 1 let's simplify let's look at this thing so that's going to become negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is 1 and this negative and negative become positive 56 divided by 2. Now since we are running out of space on this left hand side I am going to move on the right hand side I'm going to put down x equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 56 is going to give us square root of 57 divided by Two, and here you can see we have a two signs positive and negative I am going to split them I'm going to separate them we're going to have a two solutions one of them is going to be x equal to negative 1 plus square root of 57 divided by 2 and the other solution is going to be negative 1 minus square root of 57 divided by 2 once again one with a plus sign and one with a negative sign and thus here is our solution set as you can see and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye